watching the tropics again. We have been talking about this invest since last Wednesday and it has done nothing. Sometimes it almost seems like we're pointing these features out way too far in advance. We're really just trying to give you a more advanced notice, but also because computer models can only do so much in the near future and especially with a system that is not yet organized, it'll kind of give you almost false positives and there were times where it looked like it was going to develop south of the Louisiana coastline. Well, thankfully, as we're getting a little bit more with the system now under the Gulf, that does not look like it's going to happen as at the moment it is getting ripped apart. Big upper trough. You can see the flow over what the Hurricane Center is indicating is the center of this. It really is no center where they're kind of bullseyeing it, though, is getting ripped apart by wind shear and it is really just an unorganized cluster of storms a rainmaker and it looks like that rainmaker will be moving more toward Florida as we're going to get more of that northerly push. I even think any associated rainfall with invest 91 is going to stay away from us and maybe it starts to get a little bit better organized once in the off the East Coast and into the Atlantic. But even this new run of the GFS is saying that ain't going to happen. So it looks like this is probably going to be a non starter. Next couple of days, scattered showers, warm and humid. Then the drier air starts moving in and continues to get filtered in through the day Friday. Even as we head toward the end of the weekend and early next week, some of that Gulf moisture starts to return. It'll still feel pretty nice with dew points in the low six or excuse me, in the 60s and low 70s. That sounds like amazing. We'll take what we can get this time of year. <laughs> yeah. No tropical troubles and drier air coming. We've earned it. We have. Yeah, thanks, Chris.